Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hattie, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course. Brad, you look a little hot. We just went for a run with our street clothes yes, on. Yes, 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 yes. I'll never do that again, so let's do the old... All right, ready? One, two... Is that better, Brad? Yep. Yeah, I feel a lot better. Let me tell you. Let's go to work. All right, Brad, today we're going to talk about, I want to get the title right here, how to effectively treat a chest muscle strain or tear. Now, this is going to be a, the muscle, I, well, this is a crudely drawn, but basically... Actually, it looks nice. There's... Yeah, if, if we're, we're looking at this shoulder here, basically the chest muscle, you know, attaches here and a little bit to the collarbone and comes over here and attaches to the arm. Now I wanted to show this picture here because it shows how the fibers of the yeah. muscle go. Because that's going to be important in how we treat this. But usually what happens is you get a tear somewhere in here or a strain or a minor tear, okay? And usually it's, it's I mean, you could be doing bench press, I was working with a patient one time and trying to work on stretching the, the person and I actually got a slight oh, tear there and it, it would go away and then it would come back, go away then come back and I know what was happening there is that it would heal and when it starts to heal a lot of times it heals in an erratic fashion almost like Brad? Looks like a checkerboard. Checkerboard or a cobweb. Cobweb, yes. Yeah, yeah. And this, when it's healing like this, it's laying down adhesions and it's not real strong. It can break open again. Right. And that's what was happening to me. It was like it would get better and all of a sudden it started hurting again because it was breaking open. It wasn't healed strong. It's kind of ironic that therapist injures himself giving therapy. Right, exactly. <laughs> There's an irony to that. There you go. But anyway, so we, we're going to show you a massage here. It's called a cross fiber friction massage. We've done this on some of our other videos. Very effective massage. It's a very localized massage. It's not a large area. It's getting a small area. And you're breaking up those adhesions so that it heals strong. It also gets more blood flow to the area. Mm -hmm. And it it's, uh, uh, gets more nutrition to the area, I guess. Right. It, it gets sense. more circulation. Blood yep. flow, same thing. Okay, yeah, yeah same thing. stuck there, didn't you? Yeah, I did get stuck there. <laughs> you noticed that, didn't you? All right, so we're going to... Uh, when you, whenever you're doing cross fiber on a muscle, you want to make sure it's relaxed. So you can't have the arm hanging down like this. You're going to have to put a pillow or something underneath it. And right now the muscle is relaxed. I can see I'm Brad. And again, I'm going to go, here's the muscle again. starts here, kind of goes up and attaches into the arm here. Uh, you're going to find basically, a, especially with a muscle injury like this, you find the tender spot. Sure. And you're, and you're pretty much likely to be in the right area. So you're going to take... You can go two fingers, you can go one finger on top of another, you can go two across, you know, however you want to, whatever combination here. But you're going to be working hard here, so you want to make sure you're kind of, even three fingers sometimes, right? Yeah, I, 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 do, I do the three fingers okay. thing to yeah. get in there, but that's, uh, you'll know. Whatever by preference. Mm -hmm. And you're doing it to yourself, I guess, to some large, large extent. Oh, yeah. You As a matter of fact, on my shoulder injury right now, this is, I, I get in here. And I do this, but I think laying down is, is the most relaxed. Laying down would probably be we best. We don't need to do that. We'll now. do it not right now yeah. because what you're going to do though is you're going to push hard. This is not something I'm just moving the skin. I'm getting down into the fibers of the muscle right. and pushing really hard. Do you feel that, Brad? Oh yeah. Now, if 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 Brad would say, you know what, that's just too much and it's getting yeah. worse and worse. It was getting a little too much there, but well, this this probably is something you need. Yeah. Uh, because again, he injured this shoulder. Go out a little bit. This way? Yeah, not that far. Right in that group. There you go. Okay. All right, if this starts getting worse and worse, it might be too much to start with, and he maybe needs to ice it to start off with um, and let it uh, calm down. And actually, the more you were doing it, it was feeling better. Okay, so that's a, that's good, a sign. good sign. Yeah, that's more, a sign. More, more. Yeah, you want it to the point where it actually almost starts to feel numb after a minute or so. Yeah. Then you're probably right on the, the correct treatment. Now this can be pretty dramatic. The, the results from this, this sure. can this can uh, can can really give you good results if you if you do it. Um, I would say probably three times a week at least. Sure. Especially if you're going to do it, you can do it a long time. You can do it five minutes up to twenty minutes. Right. Not. Yeah. If you could, fingers could fingers hold could up. hold up. Probably yeah. won't. But I I would probably just do it for five minutes. Um, what we may want to do along with that is a stretch. Sure. You may want to stretch the muscles a little bit. Brad, do you want to show the stretch yeah. in the corner again? And this is just some rolled up sheets. A pillow really works good. A pillow would work nice better. We, we didn't have one available because there were YouTube. Well, Brad's going over it. Usually, again, this injury often occurs not from overuse, but it usually is one traumatic event. It can occur from, occur from overuse, but... So, are you over on Brad now? Are you, are you on me? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
you know, we could do both hands, but because I'm just working on my right shoulder, I'm just going to use that one. And I'm going to just gently stretch it, so I'm not going to get too aggressive. The height of my arm, I'm going to experiment and see what feels like it's stretching better. I'm going to avoid any sharp pain and just stretch it so it feels like a good stretch. And I'm not getting too aggressive with it. If I didn't have an event this weekend, I might experiment, but I'm not going to. So, yeah, it's, that, come, it's definitely feeling more relaxed now. You want to come over by me, then another way would be to stretch it like this. Right. Just stretch in the pectoral major too. And if you're like me, I, I just, that stretch is uncomfortable. I, I can hardly reach my hands behind the back because I got massive bulk in the front. And sure he does. Um, the, the other thing is that you want to make sure that you probably don't do any strengthening with that shoulder while it's healing. Yeah. So, you, you know, you're going to want to avoid activities. That muscle brings the arm across like this. Right. It also brings the arm like this. Right. So, this is called internal rotation. This is horizontal ad adduction. So, you're going to want to avoid those type of things, you know, bench press. And you're going to be able to tell because they're the ones that are going to be feel like they twang it when, or twang it when. Yeah. Yeah. When, you're, when you're doing it. So twing in, twing I think in. I made a, a word twing. All right, by the way, if you are 40 and over, you're going to want to subscribe to us because we're going to provide exactly. you lots of videos on how to stay healthy and fit and vibrant and pain-free well into your 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s uh, because we have, we have skills. Yeah, and we have experience, which and is even more important. Right. And look at that, Bob. Our time is running off. we got to say right. goodbye.